Moral Gamers, welcome back. It's time for another adventure with your favorite sword swinging hero. No, not Ruhayu Busa from Ninja Gaiden. And we're talking the Strider. Yes, he's been MIA for so many years, but now he's back in his 2014 release. How's this going to stack up? Keep watching. Now, Strider had humble beginnings. The original had you running around the world, picking up special abilities, and then backtracking and using those abilities to traverse new areas. The graphics are pretty harsh compared to now. So, okay, it's Nintendo. My wristwatch is more powerful than Nintendo. Move on. Then you had the Genesis version. The Genesis version had arcade fluidity, had great graphics, and it moved very well. You didn't have to do much backtracking though to find stuff, which was cool. Okay, but let's move on. This one is a blend of the two, because not only do you go to levels and find new abilities, but you also get to do a lot of the smooth sword swing and everything that worked out in the Genesis version. So it actually is a great compromise between styles. Now the thing I'm liking about Strider here is, is of course, the gameplay. It's, it's pretty smooth, pretty fluid. I'm also though not liking how Capcom advertised the gameplay. Because they said, uh, they basically showed you stuff where this game is running at 150% the current speed. Why? I've read everywhere on this, and from what people are saying, this game does not run much faster than what you're seeing. In fact, the specs for this game were uh, a dual core, uh, 3.2 gigahertz. I'm running a hex core, 3.6. On top of that, it also was 4 gigs of RAM. I have 8, and it was like an ATI Radeon HD 5450. I'm running an ATI, an ATI Radeon HD. 7750. I'm well above specs, guys, but I can't get it to run as fast as what you're showing. So shame on you, Capcom, for deceiving people. Nevertheless, though, you're doing the whole fight the Russians thing. This is the Cold War again! Ah! And yeah, it plays well. Uh, boss fights are very repetitious, though, and that's something that they get their pattern going, and I understand in the game you're always going to have a boss with some type of pattern, uh, unless it's fear, of course, because that was interesting. Uh, but the patterns just don't seem as challenging once you once you capture them. It's like, you know, they hop up, they throw something down, you can dodge that something down, and then when they hit the ground, you hit them a few times in the face and then jump back. Okay, not much difference in the bosses. And you, to some degree, you feel overpowered. I mean, yes, it is possible to lose, but you feel overpowered like there's not much that can stand in your way. It's You have to fumble something before you actually lose. Uh, so, the game feels a little too easy on normal. I haven't tried the harder skill levels, maybe it does give more of a challenge. But on normal, it just it feels a little too easy. Ah, c'est la vie. So, is this the right game for you? And if you like an action game with tons of swordplay, hey, Strider's cool. If you love picking up different weapons, different uh, options, abilities, and whatnot, Strider does that too. If you like having an eagle that that just launches you up into space and helps uh, carry you away, Strider does that too. And, yeah, it's Strider. I mean, it is what you had in the old Genesis Strider. It's a fun game. It um, allows you to pick up weapons and stuff. It's just a fun game. It's not a great game, but it's passable by today's standards. It almost feels like it could have been an indie title, more so than actually a big-budget, big-name title. So if you take Strider out... You put some like random Joe Samurai in, you'd still have a great game. Um, morally speaking, what's going on? You have sword play, you're using martial arts combat and stuff, hack up enemies. Uh, nobody actually dies, it just, they kind of, ah, and that's about it. So there's not much for blood or anything, but that's what you're going to deal with. Some profanity, uh, you're dealing with themes of communism, dictatorships, stuff like that. And this is war. If you have issues with war in general, you may not want your kids playing it. Um, otherwise, this is Strider. I really don't know what more I could say about this game. It's just, I was hoping for a lot more in Strider. It just, it didn't bring everything I wanted back. But at any rate, if you enjoyed this review, remember to check us out. Moral Gamer, MoralGamer.com. We've got more reviews, outtakes, got the whole shebang. Check us out. Remember to like, subscribe, and everything. MoralGamer.com.